Hi everyone, this is Heather Lawton from the Flourish Academy. This is episode 494. Today we're talking about getting paid for your sessions, which is pretty important. So in order to give you some context, I'm going to read you the question I received recently from my friend Laura. So she started by explaining that she had an inquiry from a potential client for a fresh 48 session. Okay, so they went back and forth with the information and the mom messaged her and stated that she was not comfortable paying the invoice in full. I told her she could pay half and the balance would be due 48 hours prior to the session. She came back for the second time stating that she wasn't comfortable paying for her sessions until they were completed. I explained that it's my business policy to have a retainer that guarantees her as well as me. It gives her reassurance that I have, have her scheduled and it gives me reassurance that she won't back out. Basically, I'm somewhat on call with the Fresh 48 and I have flexibility for her newborn session and that I wouldn't lose the opportunity to book another client. This was her response. I appreciate your reply, but I'm still not comfortable with it. To me, paying you everything before the sessions, before the sessions take place, gives you all the leverage and I'm left with nothing. So I appreciate your time and I'm sorry we couldn't make this work. I absolutely have an opinion on this and it's a pretty strong one. So this client saying, it gives you all the leverage and I'm left with nothing. Is this an adversarial relationship that we have here or are you hiring me for a service? Why does that sound not good? Why does that sound like she's, she's, like they're two different people on two different teams playing against each other. Again, adversarial. It gives you all the leverage. Leverage for what exactly? That doesn't even make sense to me. Okay, so to answer, there wasn't really a question. Laura was just asking for some advice. I 100% agree that you should get paid before the session and it should be in your policy. So the way I structure weddings is it's $1,000 to retain your date. So when you book, I need $1,000 in a signed contract. That secures your date. Six months prior, the remaining amount is split in half. Six months prior is half of that. One month prior is the other half. So I am paid completely in full prior to the wedding. Why would I do this? One, it, because it guarantees the date for sure. And secondly, I don't want to put any pressure or stress on the bride a week prior to her wedding. I don't want to ask her for payment on the day of her wedding. Can you imagine? I know photographers have done that. I think it's a huge mistake. People forget their checkbooks or they don't have their card or they'll just get you later. It, and you're causing them unnecessary stress because you don't have appropriate policies in place. So I would have that due one month prior. Now for any other type of session, portrait session, I would say that there is a retainer due to schedule your date and the remaining amount is due a week prior, a couple of days prior. I don't know, but I will be paid in full prior to that session. End of story. And if somebody doesn't like it, well, as indicated by this client, they'll go elsewhere and that's okay. I had the father of a bride in my home one time. This is probably gosh, I bet 10 years ago and maybe not quite. And I had presented everything and she loved me and she wanted to hire me. And he said, he looked at my contract and he said, so I have to pay you in full prior to the wedding. And I said, yes, sir. There are the terms, you know, retainer six months prior, one month prior. And he said, I'm not comfortable doing that. I've never in my life heard of anyone getting paid for their service. And he went on for a solid five minutes with a rant about how it's the most ridiculous thing he's ever heard. And I just smiled. And when he was done, I said, I'm so sorry. It's industry standard for wedding photographers to be paid ahead of time. And then he went on for another five minutes with a rant about how I was going to take his money and run and do all of these things. And it was so shady. And I said, pardon me, sir. I don't think that would be an effective way to run a business, would it? Meaning if I took everybody's money and ran and didn't show up for their wedding, how would I have a business? I mean, really? I, I suppose things like that do happen, I guess, but not with someone who has a reputable, reputable business and who has been established. I mean, that's a ludicrous thing to say, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to say that to a client. I just smiled. That's my business policy. It's industry standard and I don't bend. 
what am I going to do? Say, oh, oh yeah, I'll wait till after your wedding. Uh, what are the chances then that there is no money after the wedding or they just don't want to pay or maybe they find an excuse and they don't like something? I mean, no, it's not going to happen. And he reiterated about a hundred times. So you want me to pay you $5,000 before you show up to the wedding? Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's all. I mean, I'm not, I couldn't defend it any further. Uh, it turns out they didn't hire me and that's okay. But I was really curious I, and I never found out who they did hire because that is industry standard to be paid prior to your sessions. And Laura's potential client is probably going to find that out elsewhere. So I don't think that you should feel bad about that. I think you should have it in your policy. It's industry standard. This is the way it works in order to retain my services and make sure you have a scheduled date. I need X amount at this time and X amount at that time. And I will always, 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 and I always have been, been paid ahead of my sessions. If you don't do that, you are potentially creating a situation for yourself and your client that could be really uncomfortable because let's say your client forgets their checkbook or doesn't pay or I'll send you the money later and then you're having to follow up constantly asking for money. I am not going to waste my time playing that game. And I hope you're not either. So let me know, do you take money before the session? And if you don't and you wait till after, I mean, I'd love to hear why I would certainly entertain different reasons. Uh, I just don't prefer that for my own business. I don't think it's a good idea. I'll see you in the next video.